What's up, everybody? Last night, we got fantastic news from XRP and the Ripple lawsuit with the SEC. As a judge did declare it is over, they settled with a payment of $125 million from Ripple to the SEC, much, much lower than the SEC's requested $2 billion payment for selling securities, according to the SEC, uh, to, uh, to agencies and institutions. The question is, is this lawsuit finally over? Originally, people were celebrating as if that is the fact, but there's a catch. I'm going to talk about that in today's video. You want to know about it. If you're bullish on the price of XRP, if you want to see it go up, the information I'm going to, dis going to discuss in this video is very, very important. So make sure to stick around all the way to the very end. If you enjoy the video, make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe. But first, we got to roll our intro. Now, before we get into the details of this, if you clicked on this video and you're still watching, whether you love or hate XRP, you need to watch all the way to the end and you should care about the outcome of this verdict, even if you're not an XRP holder or you hate the coin. Why? Because a win for XRP versus the SEC is a win for crypto as a whole. This was the first of many lawsuits that the SEC went after the crypto market, and it's been almost four years now. So to come to an end and to officially end this, this tirade of the SEC, trying to attack crypto will be a massive win for every single altcoin out there that is not a security if xrp will get past it every other coin will have that platform and that uh that court ruling that will rule in their favor should the sec ever go back and try to attack once again so i want to start off with that let's check out what the chart is looking like at the moment uh and i did not share my screen before starting the video but that's going to take me one second here let's go ahead and take a look at what the chart looks like right now yesterday on the news simply that the court had ruled that this should be over and that there would be an $125 million fine for uh, for Ripple. We shot up 20% in a day. Now, we only came back to the resistance level we were just at at the end of July. We didn't set any new recent highs. In fact, we just rejected on this longer time frame falling channel uh, that we've been in now for a while. So we're going to have to come back and take a look at that here in a second. But I want to address why is XRP not sitting at new highs? Everyone expected once this ruling were to come out, XRP should not just take off 20%. We should start to see 70, 80, 90, maybe even even a dollar hit in the short term. Well, there's a reason why, and I want to make sure you guys understand what is going on here with Ripple. And there's the problem. This is an article from the Crypto Basic. Uh, there's ads all over the place. I hate this, uh, but I want to make sure I get you guys the information here. Ripple and the SEC will appeal. Now, I want to make sure I clarify this. This is not necessarily true. This is an opinion. Uh, many legal experts, including attorney Bill Morgan and James Murphy, speculate that both sides will appeal. Let's get into the details of why they might appeal and, and an argument for potentially saying that they won't. But let's get into the details because it's not as clean cut as this is just over. We still have like 60 days before we know for certain if this uh, approval or if this court approval is finished or appeals will happen. Their prediction is based on the fact that the court's final judgment ended in a partial victory for each side. That's very, very important uh, to note. According to the decision, the court imposed a fine of $125 million against, Ripple's uh, in against Ripple instead of the SEC's $2 billion ask. It also slammed a permanent injunction restraining Ripple from future violation of Section 5 of the Securities Act. While reducing the fine is considered a favorable ruling for Ripple, the permanent injunction is seen as a win for the SEC. Right. So everyone's acting right now like it was just a clean cut win. Uh, the ripples just getting a slap on the wrist. But this injunction could be problematic for the uh, as, for the for ripple in the future could cause ripple to want to appeal this decision. Uh, notably, ripples execs, Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO and Stuart out. Uh, Adorodi, uh recently expressed the respect for his this decision. However, they did not comment on the section of the ruling restraining the company from selling any securities to U.S. institutions without obtaining a restraining uh, a, a, a resignation statement from the registration statement. Oh my gosh, reading this morning registration statement from the SEC. This suggests that the company could be deliberating on the matter to determine the next line of action. 
So effectively, that line in there that says that uh, they have to follow this injunction, it means they still have to work hand in hand with the SEC and get approval for the sales of any securities. That's not a clean cut win for Ripple. That actually ties them to having to work with this agency that has uh, belittled, hurt, and uh, restrained them for four years now. This is not something that is going to give any Ripple holder or any Ripple owner uh, any type of confidence moving forward. That actually makes a lot of sense why we might see an appeal from Ripple's side. Let's keep going, though, and ask the question, what about the SEC? Will the SEC appeal? Because they're really the bigger loser in this bunch. They got nowhere close to the $2 billion they were asking for. Let's get into the details here. Conversely, the SEC has yet to issue an official statement regarding the final judgment. The SEC's commentary will decide whether or not it's planned, whether or not it plans to appeal the decision. Nonetheless, famous XRP community member Sherry emphasized the commencement of a 60-day countdown during which the SEC, Ripple, or both parties can officially appeal the final judgment. This countdown commenced after the court officially issued the final verdict yesterday. Regarding the potential appeal, Sherry asserted that the community should look out for the SEC's press release regarding the ruling to gauge whether the commission plans to appeal. According to her, the SEC might not issue the press release if it intends to appeal the ruling. So this is very important here, guys. We need to hear, even though we've gotten reports from the courtroom, we need to hear what the SEC says. And ultimately, if we do not hear the SEC come out and say anything of, of consequence, that could be the sign that in their eyes, this is not over and the appeal will be coming. This is part of what is holding XRP price back from an explosive move to the upside. But let's talk about the, the positivity sign. There may be the chance that we will not see an SEC appeal, that this will be the end of the saga. Meanwhile, the timing of the decision seems to be in Ripple's favor. It is common. The Democratic Party is trying to rebuild with the crypto industry in anticipation of upcoming U.S. elections. According to reports, the development played a role in the SEC's decision not to give the securities tag to third-party tokens, like Solana and Cardano initially labeled as securities in the Binance lawsuit. This is the important part here, guys. If the rumors are true, and that is that the SEC is working with the Democratic Party to try to change the perception of the Democrats and crypto. If these rumors are true, the SEC may not appeal Ripple decision in an attempt to woo more crypto voters ahead of the election. Would that strategy work? I I'm not really certain. I'm sure it would work for some, but I guarantee this is something to think about, that the SEC does not want to make any more crypto holders mad. Why? Donald Trump has said day one of his presidency, he would fire Gary Gensler. While there's a lot of rumors that maybe if Kamala Harris is elected, Gary Gensler could find his way working into her cabinet, maybe even being secretary of treasury. We all know that is his goal. It is in his best interest to try to find a way, any way possible, to make sure Kamala Harris is elected. That being said... If he needs to soften on crypto, if he needs to back down off this witch hunt against XRP and every other altcoin, at least for the time being, he probably is going to do that because it's in his best self-interest. What do I walk away from this saying? Could there be an appeal in the next 60 days? Absolutely. But after reading the article and reading through the logic of it, I will be very surprised if the SEC is actually the one to appeal. We still need to watch. So you see what they end up doing, but I'll be very surprised if they're the ones that appeal the uh, the ripple effect, though, or the XRP uh, appeal. That one I could see happening because they don't want to have to deal with the SEC any more than they have over the last four years. That being said, let's check out the charts once again and go deeper into what to expect over the next couple of days. As I said, big resistance coming in here on 64, 65 cents. We got to keep an eye on that. You will notice here on the daily chart, though, we have some positive things. First of all, we just today are printing a buy order here. This is a very, very big move. Uh, yesterday, we did get back. Back above that blue, or sorry, we got back, we dropped below that blue smart trail, but we now are working uh, in today's move, excuse me here, to wrestle and get back above the red smart trail. It's very thin right here, but this is a level of resistance that is important for the bulls to recapture. We're extremely close, so keep an eye on candle body closes today or tomorrow or in the next couple of days up here above 62 0.9 cents. That's going to be very, very important for the bulls. Uh, what we're also looking at at the moment, can we recapture a bullish momentum 
uh, a bullish buy signal. We have the green reversal. We have the green momentum. And the money flow is sideways right now. But if that money flow starts to show us signs of positivity, the race is off. I love seeing that the RSI is back above the 50 line. And the other good news, if you pull up Bollinger Bands and you're looking at the 20 daily SMA after losing it here a couple of days ago, we are back above it. That is a positive sign. And uh, right now, there's a lot of things pointing towards further upside coming for XRP. But it's all going to boil down to, can we get above 65 cents? Once that happens, everybody, I need you to know how bullish this is going to be because this isn't just a short-term move. Yes, we're in a little bit of a falling channel at the moment where that yellow line is serving as great resistance. But that, in the short term, that would imply that we could see XRP make a nice move up to... Let's call it $1.25. Everyone would love to see that. That would be awesome. However, in a more macro perspective, this has been a long-term uh, symmetrical triangle pattern. This is even more explosive for the future price action. This could see XRP make a move up here closer to $7.70. When is that timeline? I think that would be by the end of the bull market. Now, there's people that disagree with me. I'll let you know there's an article that came out here from Crypto Potato uh, where at least one analyst is extremely bullish. His name's Dr. Profit. Uh, he speculated that Ripple and the SE might even start working on an XRP ETF behind closed doors. I'm going to have to wait on that one to see the evidence. But his best case price target set by uh, the X user is the range of $16 to $20, while worst case is between 4 and $7. It is worth mentioning that the price $20 would require XRP's market capitulation to explode to $2 trillion. The current market cap of the entire crypto industry is around $2.1 trillion, making that forecast sound unlikely. Here's the deal, everybody. I just showed you on the charts, there's a big rational reason for maybe a dollar twenty something coming in the next couple of months. I think by the end of the bull market, even getting two or a little above $7 is absolutely doable for XRP. But when we come to that $20 price prediction, I'm not going to say it is impossible. And at one point, based off of the hype that XRP was going to get on the uh, news that the lawsuit was over, I think that it was possible. But as we've kind of fast forward and we look at a lot of other factors holding back XRP, anyone expecting a $2 trillion market cap and a $20 XRP in 2025? I think they're going to be a little disappointed. I do not believe that that price is even possible. Guys, I think it'd be good for XRP to make it to a $300 or $400 billion market cap. Uh, $2 trillion, we're not even going to scratch the surface of $1 trillion if I'm right about XRP's future. However, I own a bag, and I think some of you guys do as well. So I'm not rooting against XRP. I want to make sure that's very clear. I would love to see a $20 XRP. I'm just not going to sit around and wait for it if we get into the fall of 2025 and the price is only sitting at like 6 or $7. Do not be foolhardy and wait for a $20 XRP. That might take years in the making to happen. That being said, though, this news coming out that the lawsuit is at least – Close to being over, a really big step in close to being over. We could see it over in the next 60 days. That's going to be big for XRP and the rest of crypto. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this video. What did I get right? What did I get wrong? Am I wrong in my prediction uh, about XRP's price action? What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Also, smash the like, hit subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Adios.